Greetings, Toiletarians! I'm your host, Toilet Terry, and you guys are all watching Toilet Talk with Terry. That's me, obviously. The discussion topic for this episode is funny reactions. Take my Nana, for example. She has the funniest reactions to things. Like, for example, when she farts, she'll be like, Ooh, dad, gum those sardines. <laughs> my Grandma Susie has funny reactions to things, too. For example, when Nana farts like that, she'll make a face. <laughs> and then her husband, my grandfather, Mike, he doesn't react to much. He'll be like, so, what happened to Nana this past week? And I'll tell him, Papa made her sleep under a weighted blanket. <laughs> and I kid you not, he'll just be like, wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know just what my Grandpa Kelly up in Wisconsin would say to Nana farting like that. <sighs> well, we may not be married no more, but at least we still got one thing in common. <laughs> this is a man who takes Beano for his arthritis, y'all. <laughs> my grandmother Bibi would be like, that's messed up. If you think that's funny, you 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 need a psychiatrist or something. That 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 that's that's nasty. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell y'all, last but not least, what my Papa Jerry, her husband, would say to that. Yep, that's my wife right there. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. Except the last time she farted and, and I was around, he didn't say, that's my wife right there. Bravo. Bravo. Instead, he was like, woo, sugar bear. Whatever you've eaten, just grab me by the neck and try to choke me to death. <laughs> okay, I'm going to back away from the fart stories now. Mm-hmm. Because this is Toilet Talk with Terry, not an ad for Smart Beep. You know, we should create a rip-off version of Smart Beep. Call it Dumb Beep. Call 1-800 for other dumb stuff, like Tourette's. <laughs> See? That was a funny reaction. Y'all laughed. Mm-hmm. The funniest reaction I ever saw to anything was when I was a kid. And me and my Nana were taking my sister... To dance class. I might have told this story in previous episodes, but I'm going to tell it again anyway. There was a railroad track just by the studio, and there was another parking lot on the other end of the railroad track, which we had to go there because the parking lot on the studio's end of the railroad track was already packed. Once we got over the railroad track, a train started coming in, the bars went down. Ding, 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 ding. My Nana's reaction was priceless. She was immediately like, oh, 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 dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Mm-hmm. And the second funniest reaction I ever saw to anything was from her husband, our Papa Jerry, who me and my sister, well, I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up. He was so disciplined with me and my sister when we were little kids, you see, that we came up with a nickname for him. Popo Jerry. <laughs> see, I just got another funny reaction out of y'all. <laughs> see? So one time he rebukes me for not helping Nana outside on her walker. Why didn't you help Nana outside and leave her with that much to carry on her walker? That is so mean. <laughs> I just looked at him and sarcastically was like, 
All right, Popo Jerry. <laughs> I was expecting him to yell at me, but instead he just freezes like this for a second. <laughs> That's the funniest dang thing I ever heard. Hey, Della, sugar bear, you hear what this boy just called me? He called me Popo Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> now go help your Nana. <laughs> so I guess the moral of this episode is something along the lines of sometimes your reaction to certain situations could make the situation either either better or it can make it worse. And that's all I have to say about that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, this discussion topic. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button for more upcoming content, which will be amazing. Y'all won't want to miss it. All right. Keep it real. Peace out.